Welcome to the longest running quiz show in the area. Categories. High school students compete to answer questions on topics from art to science, history to current events. And now, here's your Categories host, John Bartell. Hi, welcome to Categories. Today we're bringing you a matchup between two of our Blue Valley high schools as Blue Valley Northwest, coached by Rod Meacham, is taking on Blue Valley, coached by Adam Wade. Let's go ahead and meet our contestants first from Northwest. I'm Ben, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Alex, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Zach, and I'm a sophomore. I'm Ariana, I'm a sophomore. I'm Luke, and I'm a sophomore. And our competitors from Blue Valley. I'm Joe, I'm a senior. I'm Sid, I'm a junior. I'm William, and I'm a senior. I'm Evan, and I'm a junior. And I'm Nathan, and I'm a senior. All right, fantastic. Here on the first round of categories, we will take turns answering questions. If a term, our team answers correctly, they earn a point. If they respond incorrectly, the other team will get a chance to steal that category. We did a coin toss before we started taping. It was won by the Huskies. So Blue Valley Northwest, the first category is world history. When explorers realized that a new continent was in the way between Europe and the Far East, they sought a way around it to the north. What was the route that men such as Henry Hudson sought in vain. Ben. The Northwest, pa Northwest Passage. Northwest Passage. Blue Valley Northwest. Fitting. All right. Coming back over to you, Blue Valley Inventors is the question. Uh, Thomas Edison's laboratory was moved in 1929 to Greenfield Village in Dearborn, Michigan. From what city? Nathan? M Menlo Park. Menlo Park. Very good. Huskies coming back to you. General knowledge. This time, art. What do you call, what do you do to paper to create the art, Asian art form of origami? Ben. You fold it. Fold it. World geography, back to you, Tigers. What country in Europe is correctly known as the Hellenic Republic? Sid. Greece. It is Greece. Northwest, mathematics is your category. At the rate of 14 miles in 10 minutes, how far will a car go in an hour? Ariana? 84, 84. miles. Very good. Tigers, word origin is your category. Two Simons were apostles, Simon Peter and Simon, and a Simon known as this, now meaning fanatic. Husky's chance to steal this word origin category, two Simons were apostles, Simon Peter, and a Simon known as this, now meaning fanatic. Zealot, zealot. Northwest, you get the next question, it is art. New York's first privately supported museum devoted to contemporary art was opened in 1929. Was it the Whitney Museum, the Guggenheim, the Museum of Modern Art, or Museum of Contemporary Art? Ben. The Museum of Contemporary Art. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Tigers, chance to steal this art question. New York's first privately supported museum devoted to contemporary art was opened in 1929. Was it the Whitney Museum, the Guggenheim, Museum of Modern Art or Museum of Contemporary Art? Sid? Guggenheim. It is not the Guggenheim, it's the Museum of Modern Art. Museum of Modern Art. Tigers, we are staying with you and the category is government. The National Railroad Passenger Corporation is its full name, but how do we know it? Joe? Amtrak. It is Amtrak, very good. Coming back to you, Huskies, sports is the category. This contest, which was first played in 1902, was then called the Battle of the Flowers. This year, Stanford beat Iowa in this game. What game is it? Luke? The Rose Bowl. It is the Rose Bowl. Tigers, current events is your category. Naval warships, aircraft carriers, and submarines from the U.S., India, and Japan moved into the Bay of Bengal as part of military exercises off India's east coast. 
calling attention to the strategic ties among the three as they face up to what rising nation? Joe? China. China, very good. Huskies, religion is your category. With whom did King David commit adultery? Tigers, chance to steal this religion category. With whom did David, King David commit adultery? William? Jezebel? It's not Jezebel. Bathsheba. Bathsheba. Good guess. Tigers, we are staying with you. Science, specifically energy, is your category. Energy produced in a reactor using fissionable or fusionable fuels is most properly called what sort of energy? Sid? Nuclear energy. Nuclear energy, very good. Literature for you Huskies. With what state would you associate the following works of fiction? Tobacco Road, Gabriel Tolliver, and Gone with the Wind. Ariana? Uh, South Carolina. It's not South Carolina. Tigers, chance to steal this literature question? Nathan? Georgia. Georgia is what we were looking for. Blue Valley, we are staying with you. General knowledge is the category, specifically food. What do you call the liquid something is being cooked in? Joe? A saute. Cannot, can, cannot accept saute. Huskies, chance to steal this general knowledge food category. What do you call the liquid something's being... Broth. 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 Broth or stock. We would have taken either one. Northwest, U.S. geography is your category. Of which of the Great Lakes is known for great walleye fishing? Zach? Lake Michigan. It is not Lake Michigan. Tigers, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. Which of the Great Lakes is known for its great walleye fishing? William? Erie. It is Lake Erie. Might as well take a guess, right? Very good. Blue Valley, mathematics is your category. The left hand of the Statue of Liberty holds a tablet on which is inscribed July 4th, 1776. However, it's in Roman numerals. Four is IV, of course. But what is 1776 in Roman numerals? Nathan. M D C C L X X V I. Nailed it. Nice job. That's hard to do with the, even the answer in front of me. All right, Huskies, language is your category. Identify the correct word from the three choices in this sentence. He was so, and here's the choices, credible, creditable, or credulous, that he believed everything he read in the tabloid. Ariana. Credulous. Credulous, very good. Tigers, fine arts, painting again. Many painters have created memorable self-portraits. Whose portrait of himself shows, this is in quotes, rust-colored hair, restless blue eyes, and a strangely shaped skull? William. Van Gogh. It is Van Gogh. Huskies, politics is your category. The Know Nothing Party, Free Soil Party, Populist Party, Bull Moose Party, American Independent Party, and Reform Party. They're collectively known as what? Luke? The Third Party. Third Party. Nice job. Tigers, sports. In golf, what does having the honor entitle a player to do? Joe? Have the first tea time of the day. We'll accept that. Tea off first. Very good. Huskies, current events is your category. In a bothersome security breach, a high school student hacked into the government email of John Brennan, director of what federal agency? Zach? The FBI. It is not the FBI. Tigers? 
Nathan? CIA. CIA. Mythology is your category, Blue Valley. Name the only major Roman god who was physically imperfect. He was the son of Jupiter. Sid? Vulcan. Vulcan. Very good. Huskies, science is your category. What's the world's largest non-profit scientific and educational organization? Tigers, chance to steal this science question. What's the world's largest nonprofit scientific educational organization? Joe? PBS. It is not PBS. It's the National Geographic Society. Tigers, we are staying with you. Literature is the category. There is a technical literary term for a long poem which recounts the adventures of a great hero. What is such a poem called? Nathan? An epic. It's an epic. World history for you, Northwest. The earliest evidence of any systematic interest in science comes from the civilizations which has existed in two river valleys. The Tigris Euphrates is one. What is the other? Ben. The Nile River Valley? The Nile River Valley, very good. Tigers, U.S. history is your category. Name the kind of large flat bottom barge in which Lewis and Clark set out from St. Louis. It was a vessel commonly used in the early United States. Its name begins with the letter K. Husky's chance to steal this U.S. history question. Name the kind of large flat bottomed barge which Lewis and Clark set out from St. Louis. It was a vessel commonly used in the early United States. Its name begins with the letter K. Zach. Kayak. It is not a kayak. It's a keel boat. Keel boat. Kayak does start with K, though. Huskies, we are sticking with you. Science is the category. What disorder is it generally considered Albert uh, that it, well, excuse me, let me start over. What disorder was it generally considered Albert Einstein suffered from as a child because he couldn't speak well? ADD. I'm sorry, Alex? Sorry, ADD. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Tigers, chance to steal this a science question. What disorder was it generally considered Albert Einstein suffered from as a child because he couldn't speak well at age nine? Joe? Autism. It is not autism. Dyslexia. Dyslexia. Blue Valley, we are staying with you with spelling. Defined as a Jewish place of worship, spell synagogue. Sid. S-Y-N-A-G-O-G-U-E. That is synagogue. Nice job. All right, caught me before I started on to our next question, so we'll reserve that for our second round. As we head into the halftime here in our first round, after our first round, we have a score of Blue Valley 14 and Blue Valley Northwest 8. This time in our program, we will go to a uh, member of each team as they will give us a campus update. And first from Northwest, we have Ben. Ben, what is happening with the Huskies? Our girls basketball team is off to one of their better starts in league play this year with a 4-2 record in the EKL, and they just beat their main rival, Blue Valley North. Our orchestra spent their winter break as a group visiting Austria. They had a chance to play in historical cities like Vienna and Salzburg and had an awesome experience. Our advanced government class is competing in the We the People competition this week, where panels of students prepare a presentation as to how our constitution and government works, and the winners in this competition will have the chance to visit Washington, D.C. Wow, good stuff happening. All right. And Joe, you are giving us the update for the Tigers. What's happening with Blue Valley? Well, last week our Scholars Bowl team, we finished our regular season undefeated, and then our uh, team captain, Nathan Luzum, was just named Sweetheart King this past weekend. Uh, our musical, Anything Goes, is premiering later this week on uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 7.30. It's going to be a great show. You should all come. And then our boys basketball team is off to a great start this year. They're, they're leading the Eastern Kansas League under the tutelage of Dwight Williams. 
Good stuff. And congratulations, Your Majesty. Yeah. <laughs> awesome stuff. Good job, guys. All right. Uh, as we head into our second round here on categories, it is the lightning round. And traditionally, we start the lightning round with our look and listen question, in which we'll have uh, audio piped into the studio. And we have a monitor for our contestants here in the studio to look at, as well as we will portray the image for you at home. The look and listen question is worth two points. And just a reminder to contestants, as soon as I'm done reading the question or finished reading the question, you may ring in. But once someone rings in, we cannot rewind the video. We have to go from where that video is stopped. All right, so here we go. Both teams give the location of this annual spring event. Sid. Moscow. Moscow, very good. As we head into the remainder part, remaining part of our lightning round, questions will be placed on the floor for either team to answer. If a team responds correctly, they earn a point. If they don't, the other team still gets a chance to steal. So both teams, hands on buzzers. The first category of the lightning round is geography. What unique instruments are found on Kit Peak? Alex. Satellites. They're not satellites. Tigers, chance to steal this a geography question. What unique instruments are found on Kit Peak? William. Wind chimes. They're not wind chimes. Telescopes. Telescopes. That's where the National Observatory is. Geography, another geography question, this time explorers and exploration. Columbus first set foot on the South American continent on the peninsula of Paria which is in what present-day country? Zach. Colombia. I cannot accept Colombia. Tigers, chance to steal this a geography question. Columbus first set foot on the South American continent on the peninsula of Paria, which is in what present-day country? Sid. Venezuela. It is Venezuela. Literature for both teams. British writers H.G. Wells and George Bernard Shaw supported what kind of politico-economic ideas? Joe? Socialist ideas. Socialist ideas, very good. Sports history for both teams. Consider these seven sports greats. Stan Musial, Ted Williams, Mickey Mantle, Brooks Robinson, Walter Payton, Maurice Richard, and Bill Russell. Exactly how many teams did these seven legends play for? Alex. One. One apiece. Very good. U.S. history. What was England's greatest import from Virginia in the early 1600s? Joe. Tobacco. Tobacco is correct. Military history. During the War of 1812, was Spain an ally of Britain, the United States, or France? Joe. Britain. It is Britain. Current events for both teams. He says his backstage role is coming to an end, and he will ramp up campaigning for his personal favorite in the presidential race. Who was or who is this former president? Sid? Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. Science for both teams. The most powerful synthetically manufactured drug has the formula C20, H25, N3O. It is called the d lysergic acid dithalamide tartrate, or what for short? William. DDT. It is not DDT. Huskies, same question. Science is the category. The most powerful synthetically manufactured drug has a formula of C20, H25, N3O. It is called d lysergic acid dithalamide tartrate. Or what, for short? Alex. LSD. It is LSD. Theater for both teams. This opera was, was given its world premiere in German, its American premiere in English, and its metropolitan premiere in Italian. Name the opera by Mozart. 
Ariana? The magic flute. It is the magic flute. Geography for both teams. What continent has the largest area of tropical climate? Ariana? South America. South America. General knowledge. Which of the following occupations? A tailor, a painter, a railroad conductor, or a typesetter would most likely use spackle? Zach? A painter. A painter. Famous people. It's a fairly long question, so please pay attention. To the first graduating class, he said, the, the good Lord gave me my money and how, I, and how I could withhold it from the University of Chicago. Name this philanthropist who gave $35 million endowment to the university during his lifetime. The memorial chapel on this campus is named for him. Luke. Rockefeller. It is Rockefeller. Vocabulary for both teams. It refers to a reversal of the usual order of words for emphasis. In meteorology, it refers to an atmospheric condition in which the air temperature rises with increasing altitude, holding surface air down and preventing dispersion of pollutants. What is this term? Sid. Inversion. Inversion. Literature. What famous literary traveler left Bristol in the Antelope on May 4th, 1699? and returned to the English Channel on April 13th, 1702. Nathan. Phileas Fogg. I cannot accept that. Huskies, chance to steal this literature question. What famous literary traveler left Bristol in the Antelope on May 4th, 1699, and returned to the English Channel on April 13th, 1702? It was Gulliver of Gulliver's Travels. Science, specifically food science. What is the function of all these food additives? Sodium propionate, calcium propionate, benzoic acid, and sorbic acid. Joe. Food coloring. It is not food coloring. Huskies, chance to steal this science food category. What is the function of all these food additives? Sodium propionate, calcium propionate, benzoic acid, and sorbic acid. Ben. They're preservatives. They are preservatives. U.S. history. When Wild Bill Hickok was marshal of Abilene, Kansas, did he have his office in a schoolhouse, general store, church, or saloon? Ariana. A saloon. It was a saloon. U.S. government for both teams. The 1904 Roosevelt Corollary, Corollary expanded it into Nathan. The M Monroe Doctrine. It is the Monroe Doctrine. U.S. geography for both teams. North of New Jersey, the U.S. coast is rocky and noisy with pounding surf. From New Jersey south, the coast is Sandy Beach. Why is there such a difference? Joe. Oceanic currents. I cannot accept oceanic currents. Huskies, chance to steal this U.S. geography question. North of New Jersey, the U.S. coast is rocky and noisy with pounding surf. From New Jersey south, the coast is Sandy Beach. Why is there such a difference? It's because the gla glaciers of the Ice Age advanced as far as south as New Jersey, and that's where they stopped. Theater for both teams. There is an opera by an Italian composer about a Spanish barber, which is based on a French comedy. Name that opera. Evan. The Barber of Seville. It is the Barber of Seville. Science, biology for both teams. Compared to the Texas jackrabbit, with the Arctic hare, we expected to have longer legs, shorter appendages, more sensitive whiskers, or more frequent breeding seasons. Ben. Shorter appendages. Shorter appendages. Language for both teams. It comes from the Greek to converse and originally meant the art of conversation, discussion, or debate. Contributors to this philosophical method are Zeno, Plato, Plato Aristotle. Marx adapted Hegel's philosophy into materialism. What's the word? William. 
dialogue. Can I accept dialogue? Huskies, chance to steal this language category it comes from the Greek to converse, and it originally meant the art of conversation, discussion, or debate. Contributors to this philosophical method were Zeno, Plato, and Aristotle. Marx adapted Hegel's uh, philosophy into materialism. What's the word? <phone rings> dialectic, dialectic, close with dialogue. Literature for both teams. What 19th, 19th century novel has a description of the Battle of Waterloo from the British side, although the battle is mainly seen from behind the lines in Brussels? The author is William Thackeray. Nathan? Vanity Fair. Vanity Fair. Mathematics for both teams. What is the derivative of the function y equaling the tangent of x? Nathan? S uh, se secant squared x. Very good. We've also taken one over cosine squared x. Geography. Name the two most predominant religions of Africa. Ariana. Islam and Christianity. Those are the two. Botany for both teams. What is the predominant color of the passion flower? Joe. Red. It is not red. Huskies, you do have a chance to steal this botany category at the last second. What is the predominant color of the passion flower? Alex. Purple. It is purple. With that correct response, you've narrowed the gap a little bit, but not enough as Blue Valley comes out on top with a score of 26 and Blue Valley Northwest 19. Great game by both teams. Please join us again next time here on Categories as we will continue to bring you the best and brightest minds of high school students all across Johnson County.